Hi there everyone and welcome back to one more lesson on using Excel shortcuts for beginners part 2. In this lesson we will be looking at 5 new Excel shortcuts which are more advanced as compared to before. And the very first one that we're going to look at is the option you have for inserting current date using control semicolon shortcut. It is especially handy for those data or those people who have to add daily values or daily dates for entering a particular set of data. Let's take a quick example of how we can use the control semicolon shortcut for inserting current date. If I have this cell F5 and I want today's date to be added to it, like maybe in an attendance sheet or for adding some product update on that, that particular day. So you can simply press control semicolon and effortlessly the date is added. You see, instead, if I manually add all of these digits, it has taken me five to seven seconds. Instead, I would simply press control semicolon and the date is added. Remember, you have to be careful that your laptop has the correct setting and time in order to get the correct date. The second Excel shortcut we have is the use of control shift and the dollar sign for formatting values as currency. In this case, I'm adding random values to different columns. And how is it possible that the dollar sign automatically appeared? For that, what did I do? I simply added the random values. I'm going to show how I changed them. I'll select that particular data in the cells. After that, I'm going to press Control, Shift, and the dollar sign wherever it appears, depending upon your keyboard. In my case, it's the number four. So now you can see that this simple shortcut of using Control, Shift, dollar sign has changed your values, which were really simple, two dollars number one number two it has added two decimal places as well to account for cents if there are any for your data now we're going to look at the third excel shortcut in this video lesson which is using alt hoi to auto fit column width in order to do that you first of all have to select that particular column you need to auto adjust once you've selected it you will simply press Alt H O I and you will see how magically the column width is adjusted. So this is how you can manage and systematically arrange and format the data you have, which is exceeding the cell size. And this is mostly coming in handy, especially when you have longer names, longer widget names, or you have content, which is longer but you want it to be appearing in the cell properly. Now we're going to look at the fourth most amazing Excel shortcut in this video lesson, which is the use of control page up and down for switching between sheets. In this case, I have a total of five sheets in front of me. And if I want that I effortlessly, without clicking on each different sheet, move from the first one to the last or the second last, I can use this navigation easily. What is it? This is the use of control page up and down. Now the page up and down option can vary on your keyboard according to the type of laptop or PC you're using. In my case, it appears to be on the right top corner of my keyboard. For that, I'll simply press control page up for moving ahead for the sheets and control page down for moving back. That is how you can simply navigate through the worksheets without having to scroll down, clicking on the sheet, moving right and left. You can simply use your keyboard and use this Excel shortcut to work effectively. Now the last and the most interesting Excel shortcut we have for this video lesson is the use of control and the square bracket for selecting precedence and dependence. Precedence and dependence are basically what? That is what you need clarity on. Precedence are basically something 
that is behind, something that is coded for. For example, if you use control the bracket, which is the starting one, you will be able to highlight cells directly referenced by the active cell. Here I have created a short example of using these two different shortcuts in Microsoft Excel. Here I have data from counting days between two different dates, and I will help you how you can highlight cells directly referenced by the active cell. In this case, if I see this particular cell here for the starting date, how am I sure that which cell is it linked to? So if I click on control and the bracket, which is the opening bracket, nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? Because this particular cell has manually entered data. It does not have any reference to any active cell. Let's have the example of total days instead of starting date. Total days has cell references, as you can see in the formula bar. If I select one particular cell and then press control open bracket, I'm going to see that it's going to show me the reference of the cells which are used to extract this data. So this means that this particular precedence formula shortcut, you can say, of using control open bracket is used to identify all the cells which are linked to that particular result you can see in the cell. So this can actually help you navigate the areas, the cells, the data from where that particular information is being extracted. Instead of you moving back and forth around the columns, around the rows, and finding out where the data is coming from. The second thing we have is control and the closing square bracket. This is to select the dependence. Now, if I stay on total days and do this particular shortcut of pressing control, close bracket, you're going to see that it's saying me no cells found. Why? Because we want the cells that directly depend on the active cells to be highlighted. Now what we're going to do is we are going to select starting or ending date, and then we will press control bracket close. And you're going to see that it directly refers back to the total days column. This means that it shows that this total days data is extracted from the ending and the starting date for this particular row. What I can actually do is I can find out that which are those cells which are linked to this particular data. If I plan to delete this certain data in this cell, what effect is it going to make and which cell is it going to be? So this is how you can use this easy Excel shortcut of using control open bracket and close bracket to select the precedence and the dependence. I hope that you people are clear on these five simple shortcuts which were really easy to use, yet they are really effective and helpful. I hope that you learn much out of this lesson and practically apply it in your Excel lessons. See you in the next video. Take good care of yourself. Goodbye. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.